Hi, it's Bruce Berry again, back down at the Caddis Fly, and today we're putting together a simple rabbit strip fly on a tube. So we'll get started right away here. First thing we do is take that, again, for the uh, flexi needle, 110 millimeter needle. It's a, it's a tube adapter for your vise. Place that in the jaws, and today we're tying on a micro tube. So that's a, a smaller, more Scandinavian style tube, and it works in conjunction with a little tapered silicone hook guide. So the first thing I'm gonna do to make it easy to connect those two pieces, slide that <clears throat> hook guide on that size large, that'll handle size 1, 1 aught, 2, and 4 steelhead hooks. Slide the tube on and then I can make the connection so that I'm set. I want to put a little bit of weight on this fly so I'm using a Pro Flexi weight. That's a 15 millimeter weight and this is a new color. We've got a lot of new colors in the weights now. This is available down at Caddis Fly. We have chrome and black. I'm going to go with black today and then we'll put the thread on and start tying the fly. So weight wise most of my flies nowadays are like easy to cast, somewhat durable, they wiggle easy, they're easy to rig, and they don't foul. And um, that's kind of how I designed my steelhead box. So weights on, tube, rabbit strips prepped by the correct length, I'm just using a barred blue rabbit. And we're going to secure that with a bunch of wraps. And this is kind of a utility fly. A lot of times it's nice to have some stuff that you can tie in two, three, maybe four minutes and just fill a box up so that you're ready to go with a few different colors and have your box filled up with some good stuff. So I'm going to use again this crinkle mirror flash. This is the purple dyed flash and that crinkle mirror. I love this for steelhead flies. Just a couple of pieces really goes a long ways with this stuff. <clears throat> So the flash is ready to go. A couple of pieces. Fold them over the tube. Lock it down. Pull it back over the other side. Then I cut those just a hair longer than the rabbit strip. And I can adjust that as needed on the water. So the basics of the fly is pretty much there. I'm going to finish this with just a few turns of marabou. So we've got a little orange for highlights. Again, those hook guides come in seven different colors, so you can change them as needed on the water as well. Blue, purple flash, and black. So most of my favorite colors for steelhead are all on this fly right here. And again, with the marabou and slopping and hackle, I generally tend to like to time in tip first. I don't think it's a necessity. It's just the way I like to do it. So we'll tie that in and put I don't know if I'd say some of the marabou is more dense than others, so I just start spinning it until I get the amount I like. This is going to probably be four, maybe five turns of marabou. Two. Three. Now, do you add any glue or anything to that rabbit to keep it from fouling? I think definitely, like, you know, I'm down from. Portland today down to Eugene. I don't like to travel with Zappa Gap or Super Glue or any of that kind of stuff, but I like to put a little dot of Zappa Gap on there. Probably ultimately make it more durable. And um, yeah, you could definitely do that or any of the UV, you know, epoxies and glues. But yeah, putting putting a dot of that on the tube, then attaching your rabbit will even make it more durable. So that's the fly basically right there. We got a rabbit strip, a flash, and some marabou. I'm gonna whip finish it, and then I'm gonna show you guys a new pro tube product that's pretty cool. Oh, whip finishing problems. Okay, there we go. So for the last couple of seasons, ProTubes had out what we call a sonic soft disc. And you've seen flies where we use that inside the fly to prop the materials up, and then we finish flies. So it has holes in it, it makes it easy to cast, and it also creates a water vortex that helps the wing or the material um, wiggle in the water. So the new product that we just released in 16 different colors is called an ultrasonic disc and that's just a, a brass version and that comes in lots of colors They're actually on the table here Chris if you want to pan in and give the guys a look at that real quick but um, I believe those are the eight colors we have down here we've got silver, gun smoke, metallic blue, metallic purple, chartreuse, ultra orange, a hot pink, black and there's a bunch of other cool colors so these are uh, this is a size medium it's a nine millimeter so I'm pretty much done 
and what I want to do here is make a trim cut and again this is something that I kind of always go over with all these videos and you know in classes and stuff like that cut the tubes fairly short just leave a millimeter or so in front finishing the fly or attaching a brass weight or cone to it that's actually probably just a little bit longer than I need so I'm going to make one more little cut so I'm just leaving a very little bit of tube out of the top of the fly I hold the fly vertical and bring the heat source down to it and that lip will roll there we go and you're on and ready to fish so from here all we need to do is slip that on the tippet tie on a straight eye hook pull it in the back of the junction and you're ready to go fishing